Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. Uh, today I received this in the mail, One Deck Dungeon Abyssal Depths. There's not a whole lot going on here. There's only, what is it, uh, six fiends and three new heroes. There's a total of nine cards in here, but I don't know anything about this. Uh, I saw this online when I was looking up, I believe it's called One Deck Galaxy, which was gonna, which is going to be Osmata Games' new, next uh, One Deck game. And when I was looking up the One Deck stuff, I saw this, and it's not something that's part of my shelf, so I was like, I have to pick this up, and I have to do uh, a video for this, because I'm sure there are a ton of people who play One Deck Dungeon who have no idea that this even exists. Um, so this is One Deck Dungeon Abyssal Depths. Like I said before, it includes six fiends and three new heroes. And it's just a addition to, let's see, One Deck Dungeon Adventures, Abyssal... Uh, monstrous fiends to your one deck dungeon adventures fiends uh, harass you during your encounter posing new difficult challenges you'll need to devise new strategies to carefully use uh, every last die in your disposal fear not three new heroes join your adventuring crew or core and they're ready for battle so yeah um i guess this could be added to either one deck dungeon or um Oh, what was the other one called? Uh, Deep Forest or something to that effect? Forest of Shadows. One Deck Dungeon Forest of Shadows. So, um, let's take a look at what's inside. You can get this on their website, by the way. Uh, if you're having a hard time finding it, just go to Osmata Games' website, and they have it up there for, I believe, $10. Uh, it might have been $8, and it was $2 shipping. I can't remember. Um, but I think I paid a total of $10, so, uh, ooh, this is a difficult package to open. Hello? Oh, there we go. We're open. All right. But yeah, you can get it on their website, so definitely check it out. Uh, you can get it for super cheap on their website, and I would suggest doing that because, uh, gosh knows that somebody's gonna be selling it on eBay for some bloated price because people aren't looking. So here we go. First off, it looks like we're starting with our fiends here. We got a Shark Wisp. And this guy, I don't think is a new boss. He's just a new thing to encounter in the dungeon. Let me see what the back of the card looks like, if there's any... Oh, okay, so the back of the card is just a different version. So the skulls up here are indicating something. Um, possibly an elite scary version. So that's the Shark Wisp. Next up we have the Merflection. Merflection. And then a, this one on the back also has a Skulls thing. So I'm assuming, like I said, one side's more difficult than the other. This is a Merflection. But again, like I said, I don't know a lot about how these are integrated. So I don't know um, if this is an, a new boss or if these are... Well, they can't be a new boss. No. So these are integrated some other way. Endless Kelp. On the back we have Scary Endless Kelp. Not really sure how Endless Kelp could be considered super scary, but what do I know? A uh, Terror Shell. I mean, see, that's scary. All right, in the back we have the more difficult terror shell. Next up, sprout or spout elemental, spout elemental. More scary spout. And then last but not least, we have ourselves the tidal snake. And then our more scary title snake. Oh, that's neat. They're all water related. Because it's a, I mean, <laughs> abyssal depths. Duh. Um, okay, our first hero is an Aquamancer. This is the one player version solo Aquamancer. Heroic fetus tsunami. And she has Bubbles the Water Spirit. And then the two-player version of her. And she's an Aquamancer. 
Next up, we have ourselves the Dragoon, who looks like he's from Atlantis. Or she. She looks like she's from Atlantis. One player side, Stalwart as the Heroic Feet, and Trident as the regular normal Dragoon two player. And then the final, we got the Witch. Heroic Hammer Smash. Normal Inner Fire. And the two-player version. And then the final thing we get in there is, is the card that teaches us how to use these. So I'm going to show you both sides, and you can kind of see right there. That's the back. So essentially what it says is Abyssal Deaths uh, add a new threat to your dungeon adventures. Fiends who hound you throughout your entire quest to reach the boss and complete the dungeon. During setup, you can now select a fiend in addition to heroes and a dungeon. The fiend card will remain in play through all floors of the dungeon, only leaving you when you reach the boss. Uh, each fiend has four threat levels, which make things more difficult and set or and a set of boxes at the bottom. You can confront a, a fiend by filling all of the boxes over the span of several encounters, reducing the threat level, and gaining a bonus for doing so. Boxes on the fiend can fiend card can be filled during any encounter. Fiend boxes ignore any effects that would alter them or or placement in them, including she uh, unfilled shields boxes elsewhere gray boxes on the fiend can be filled with dice of any color once a die is on the fiend card it remains there until the until you confront the fiend or descend this will limit the number of dice in the supply so be careful during the use of skills place a dice or and place dice step of an encounter if all boxes on a fiend are full, you can confront it. All dice on the fiend return to the supply, and the threat level is reduced by one. Oh, okay. In addition, you gain the confront bonus for that fiend. If you're on the second floor, you gain the bonus twice. And if you're on the third floor, you gain the bonus three times. Wow, that's cool. The threat level begins at two. Uh, resets to three at the start of the second floor and resets to four at the start of the third floor. Interesting. So yeah, it really just won't leave. Even if you confront it, it's not going to leave. Very cool. So that is um, One Deck Dungeon Abyssal Depths. Like I said, it adds three new heroes and it adds a whole bunch of fiends to the, the game. Um, for those of you who've played the game, it is an absurdly difficult game, so adding more difficulty to it uh, seems like an, a preposterous thing to do, but it is what they have done here. And as I mentioned before, One Deck Dungeon Abyssal Depths can be grabbed on Asmati Games' website for, I believe, $8. Um, could be 10 not 100% sure. Um, so yeah, definitely go out and pick it up. And um, that about concludes it. If there's any um, comments, uh, please leave them below. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys, and I would love to uh, get back to you on any of these, especially if you have any games that you'd like me to take a look at. And um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And again, guys, until next time, peace.